let's just start with like a, what were the main reasons that you decided that at this moment you need an online community software like tribe but not slack for these kind of purposes yeah so i find that slack is really good at notifications it's not so great at enabling conversation and people to connect on particular topics and particularly in an organization where i'm looking to recruit employees from across different lines of business from across um, geographies slack is great for getting the word out but they're also members of so many different slack workspaces so many different slack channels um, that it's you know things get lost and there's not really a chance to kind of connect and honestly get to know and kind of personalize the experience for our community and so where i really see the value of tribe is really being able to get into deeper conversations and then drive that personalization and kind of have it be this platform where we can share opportunities for people to get involved we'll use slack or email to point people there but then they can get all of the detail in the platform they can watch a replay of us talking about it they can go to a site and sign up they can ask questions they can really engage around the topic in a meaningful way um, and connect with each other which is something that i'm also looking to explore more this year Hey, that was a wonderful description. How you adopt your use case with the functionalities and how smart you are in order to use like even the smallest functionalities to achieve your goal better. So that's that's wonderful. Yeah, and I think, you know, the timing was of all of the things that weren't perfect about 2020. I think it was we la I'm laughing that we launched in February and then everyone went into lockdown in March. And so I think we really hit a nerve with our employees that were seeking out ways to connect. And I mean, my job is to drive participation across our whole portfolio of programs in CSR. And what I've found is that people are only going to click on something or be interested if it's personalized for them. And if it gives them a chance to connect with other people, no one's looking for more screen time. No one's looking to spend, you know, even more time on Zoom and WebEx calls. And so creating an opportunity for people to meaningfully come to, together and learn and get to know each other and celebrate the great things that other people are doing. I think that's really been the value. And I think I'm trying to think of some other things I would add. I think it's also been especially valuable that because I work across our whole department, I'm able to use it as a platform to bring in, I very rarely actually present on a topic myself. I'll bring in different team members or I'll pull a list of community members who are today, somebody asked, you know, I have a virtual event, something around, you know, mentoring and STEM education in the DC area. I was told to reach out to you and you could help me find people, right? So I'll go and I can pull the list of the CSR influencers. I can run it and kind of understand who's in that geography and share it with the team so that they can reach out for a personalized opportunity. And so that's also been really valuable. Amazing. All right. That was a really good description on why you feel like an online community, not necessarily try, but an online community is much more different than what uh, you can achieve through a Slack or a Facebook yeah. group. Uh, I, I could completely resonate with that because I'm a user of our software as well. <laughs> so our company is using our own product. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So so I can I can see the value in that. So yeah. Thank we you so also. I just want to add one more thing, which sure, is that yeah. we had an internal platform that actually did a lot of this in the past and. I think it was an IBM product that we sold off and now we're sunsetting. And so I was really excited. It's something that we've always had in some capacity, but they took, it was essentially, they called it like a wiki. And then there were discussion forums, you could update the content. And so we have a great new platform for the static content that if you wanna publish something out to our employees, but there was no conversation aspect on it. There was no, you know, voting and engaging in conversations. So that was also something where we've had this in the past. They're sunsetting the in-house software. And so that's also been valuable for me that we see employees who were engaged in that legacy environment um, are really excited to have the opportunity to continue engaging in that way um, 
in an online community that maybe looks a little different, but that might be a good thing too. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Exactly. So uh, you can use something like, uh, let's say, blogs. We do have knowledge base as an example. Mm -hmm. If I want to talk about tribe experience as a customer of tribe as well. So we do have knowledge base. You can find the information you're looking for going through or articles, blogs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you do not have a way to get connected to others. You cannot mm -hmm. express your own opinions, providing your feedback, leaving comments, having a back and forth conversation. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the whole point of having the community, right? So the admin doesn't drive it, but you as a user, you drive this. So that's, uh, that's the whole point of it. Yeah. Yeah, great. Thank you so much, Marley.